Good morning Quadcopter 101. I have one of the most unusual looking drones that I've ever demonstrated before. This is a Lishy Toys L6059. Very, very unusual looking drone. As you can see, it is a foldable drone. Uh, let me open it up here just to show you that. Pop it open. These just pop right open and you can close them also by pressing this button inward and then they'll close. But let's pop it open to show it how it looks in flight. This is the L6059 opened up, ready to go. Um, it does come with prop guards and I probably would recommend prop guards uh, for the most part, especially if you're gonna fly this indoors uh, because if you notice, these are the landing gear legs for this. Uh, as such, I don't think this thing's going to be very steady in landings. It's gonna probably have a lot of tip overs. Uh, but with that in mind, these motors are meant or designed to stop if there's any resistance on them. Um, so, you know, we shouldn't, you shouldn't have to worry about motor burnout, but there, if you do worry about motor burnout, there is a way to emergency stop it, and I'll demonstrate that here shortly with its controller. But let's take a closer look at this particular quadcopter. The intent of these, I'm starting to see a lot of these come out. There's uh, one and I just demonstrated recently. I don't know if I'll have it up by the time you see this video, but uh, there was another one. I, it was the Flying Fly Pro Squid. Um, what it is is a lot of these newer drones that we're starting to see these little selfie these are selfie drones Have a very low center of gravity um, The idea being that helps to improve stabilization of the quadcopter and of the video camera by having this low center of gravity below the uh, Propellers in effect, you know the the weight of the quadcopter is actually balancing the quadcopter and trying to hold itself or improve the uh, stability of the quadcopter by putting the weight very low from the props. Additionally, this quadcopter, this one here in particular, has little damping balls right here in between the propeller mount and the main body to uh, supposedly to also help uh, reduce vibrations going to the camera. The camera on this is a swivel lens camera. It swivels up and swivels down by remote control. And it's nice and gradual swivel, it's not jerky. <laughs> There's a, actually a button on the uh, controller, to, or two buttons, to scroll it up and scroll it down. Uh, the quadcopter is powered by a very large, for this, 900 milliamp hour battery uh, with red JST connector. Now, although this one's 900 milliamp hour, you can use other smaller batteries, such as I have some 600 milliamp hours that easily fit into this case. You know, it's it's a uh, hold on, folks. Let's open it up, and I'll tell you what the width of this is. It is 75, 25 mil or 25 <laughs> millimeters in width and 60 millimeters in length and 7.5 millimeters in thickness. So, you know, if you can get a battery that's less than 25 millimeters in thickness, it will fit in here. Um, you won't get the flight time that you get from a 900 milliamp hour battery, but if, you know, you can use smaller batteries in this thing and still fly with it. But uh, it will reduce the flight time by doing such. Just keep that in mind if you go to less than 900 milliamp hours. And I had to wire in the way of the connector for that. <laughs> of the switch of this but anyways it's back the battery's back in place um other things about it again just a very unusual shaped quadcopter uh, i'm gonna see, we're starting to see these a lot more and more oh one other thing i did forget something this has obstacle avoidance sensors on each of its side here infrared sensors that will indoors supposedly prevent uh, obstacle avoidance now these infrared type of obstacle avoidance systems don't work very well outdoors so i'm not expecting it to work <laughs> out here in the sunlight. I'll give it a try. I'll come up upon it on uh, in the shade like this and see if it will detect me and bounce off of me. But generally, out, outdoors in sunlight, these infrared type of obstacle avoidance systems generally do not work very well. So I don't expect it to work very well at all outdoors. Uh, and finally, I think I did forget to mention, this is a 720p HD camera. And again, we're starting to see more and more of these HD 720p HD cameras on here. Hopefully in the future, we'll, we'll start seeing 1080p cameras. And that will be even cooler on these toy grade quadcopters. Let's go over the controller. If you notice, I have my phone attached to the controller. That means we do have Wi-Fi FPV capability with this quadcopter. Um, all of the buttons are very well labeled on this quadcopter uh, controller. Uh, as such, you know, I didn't need to actually label it like I normally do with other 
type controllers. Uh, this is um, your rates, the speed, speed dial there. Uh, this is headless mode. This starts the video camera and starts the photo. Now, this particular quadcopter being the Wi-Fi version of this, uh, you have to start the video by pressing, I'm pretty sure you have to start the video by using the app to uh, start recording per, on this. Um, I did forget to mention something about this quadcopter. When you do use the app, it records to an SD card. There is an SD card slot on this uh, particular quadcopter. Unfortunately, it does not come with an SD card. You're going to need to provide your own. But it does record directly to SD. And, um, again, headless mode and rates. And this button here is automatic takeoff and automatic landing by pressing there. And these are just trim buttons here. And this is your uh, throttle, yaw, pitch, and roll. And if you, again, I mentioned that you can move the camera up and down. It, to move the camera up, you press this button here. And to move the camera down, camera angle down, you press this button here. So, and again, finally, for emergency stop, you bring both, press both of these buttons down here when it tilts over in the landing. And it will tilt over in the landing. I'm almost certain of that. Okay, go, let's go for a flight of this and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. To turn it on, you press this button here until the lights come on, and they're flashing. And first thing I'm going to do is bind the quadcopter. And we have three green lights telling us we have full battery. And I want to point the quadcopter's camera off in this direction. I want that to be the headless mode direction. And we'll start up the app. Okay, this is the LS Drone app available in Google Play and iTunes. And I'm going to hit play here. And we do have FPV reception. And notice that the camera is pointed somewhat downward. So we're going to raise it up by pressing this button here. And I want it level with the horizon like that. And again, I'm going to demonstrate selfie modes primarily with this. Okay, let's try, uh, first off, I want to be in headless mode. Headless mode is selected, and we're going to point ourselves in this way, since that's our headless mode direction, and doing automatic takeoff. Well, actually, that just starts and stops the motors. So I guess you've got to give it throttle to take off. And starting the video camera. Video is recording. Let's turn it around. Bring it in closer. <laughs> I like my shirt today, folks. Look at the stability on this thing. Let's bring it in closer. Wow. I'm going to turn headless mode off. Oh, headless mode's still on. Headless mode's off now. But look at how oh, headless mode's still on. Oh, that's the rates. Headless mode is off. Now it's off. But let's bring it in close to show us. Look at that. Again, extremely stable. And there I am. <laughs> yeah, this would make an excellent selfie for camera. Look at that thing. Let's go up higher and get some video of the area. Do I still got it? FPV? Yeah, I do. And let's rotate. Oh, it's, oh, I'm on a high rate. Let's go to lower rate. And do a slower turn. Now the turn is still kind of fast. Okay, let's point the camera downward. Since I'm, I'm down here. Oh, that's up. Pointing it down. And there I am. Let me go over here. The sun's so you can see it. Hello up there. <laughs> this is dang neat quadcopter. I, uh, you know, it's unusual. Very unusual shape. But, it, you know, for a selfie quadcopter, it's pretty dang cool. Okay, let's come down lower. And raise, up, raise up the camera a bit. Make sure we stay in the picture. And bring it in. And bring it in slowly, slowly. 
Oh, this is neat. That's a, you know, they do have something here. By um, putting that center of gravity real low like this, extremely stable quadcopter. Extreme stability. Hopefully there's no jello. We'll find out in post-production. Let's do a flyaway. <laughs> and fly inward. Okay, I'm going to stop the video there. Let's try photo shoots. <laughs> and going back to video camera. Okay, what's the battery power left on this? Still says three bars. Oh yeah, it's got a 900 milliamp hour battery. You know folks, this might be the new hit of the season. <laughs> If this performs, you know, if the video comes out nicely, this might be a huge hit. Going up, again showing the video of the area. Let's rotate it. Rotating. Rotating a little at a time. It does turn kind of fast. Let's point the camera downward. Well, see me, I'm directly underneath it right now. Hi up there. <laughs> Let's come back down. So neat. This is a toy grade. Yet yeah, it's so cool. Let's go back up. <laughs> Neat. Neat quadcopter. Okay, putting the camera back up. Lucy Toys has something here. This will be a big hit for Christmas. Okay, turning around the area. Turning around the area. Let's try that landing again. And then coming back down here shortly. If only the yaw was a little bit more smooth. But yeah, oh damn, nice looking camera. At least on my screen, it's really nice. Coming back down. I'm pointing the camera back down to me. And coming down fast. Dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> okay, coming down fast. It gets wobbly. Don't come down fast. <laughs> it does get wobbly on. I'm coming down fast. Okay, let's try that landing on this thing. I'm going to stop the video right there, make sure I got it. On, and let's go back over to the uh, landing pad. Let's see how stable it is. That's where its shortcoming probably is. I haven't demonstrated it yet, but we'll try a landing. Let's see, we'll do an automatic landing. That's the first thing I want to see. Pressing the H button. Yeah, yeah. Yep, emergency stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't think it was going to be a, uh, a good lander, but again, these motors are supposedly able to stop themselves automatically um, if there is an obstruction. Let's try the uh, obstacle avoidance, and look, we still got three bars of battery power. That's amazing, too. Okay, taking off, we're starting motors, going up. I'm going to go up about belly high. No. How about that one? That one sees it, but then again, let's come down a little lower. Oh, it sees me. Oh, no, 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 don't. <laughs> so, again, obstacle avoidance isn't working very well. I didn't think it would. So, again, those, you know, infrared sensors on these obstacle avoidance types of quadcopters are mainly for indoor use and, and really <laughs> are only effective if the surface is kind of light color. Any dark color objects it, it won't actually see. But so far what I'm seeing, uh, extreme stability, again, based on this design with a low center of gravity, uh, the 
damper balls seem to be working too. I hope there's no jello in that video. And uh, oh, all in all, the camera looks fantastic. Let's start that camera again. One more snapshot. <laughs> and start the video. And let's let's do a backward pan. Actually, let's let's see which way is the headless mode direction. Let's turn headless mode back on. Headless mode's that way. So let's turn it over this way. Headless mode's that direction. We'll bring it over here. Let's go to higher rate. There's a little bit of a breeze now. What I want to do is an outward pan. <laughs> Let's go take headless mode off again. Headless mode always confuses me. <laughs> but Let's just fly it around. Let's go to higher rate and see what it does at high rates. There's only two rates, low and high. Okay, we, I just saw we're down to two bars now of flight time. Still flying. Oh no, it's starting to descend on two bars. It's getting lower. Let's go up a higher and see if it'll... No, that's it. That's its flight time, folks. Once it hits the two bar mark, that means <laughs> land me. Oh no, we're on one bar now. It went to two bars and then one bar real fast and started blinking. So, okay, I stopped the video. All in all, yeah, this is a great flyer. Um, a very uh, stable flyer. You know, in low wind days, this would probably work well indoors too, especially if you put on those uh, um, propeller guards. But uh, I, I like what I'm seeing and I'm liking what I'm, how it's flying too. So again, this is the Lish Toys, uh, Lishy Toys L6059. Um, we're starting to see these again, like I mentioned, uh, low center of gravity quadcopters, but they seem to work very well. It's just that landing them can be an issue. <laughs> so hope you enjoyed this flight, this quadcopter 101. Signing out.